Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay, today we're going to talk about directions for those students who are coming to the Silver Wolves class that is going to be starting in the 1st of April. Also, those of you who are going to be coming for my gathering, which begins on Monday the 8th and runs through the 14th, these are the same directions. Now note, in the past, we came in from the opposite direction. We're coming in on a better route in this time. Less dirt road. Before you had to travel four and a half miles on a dirt road. This way you only have to come in a mile and a half and it's a better section of road. So I'm coming, bringing you in a different way. So here's the thing. First let us begin of where the gathering is. Here is a plain old road atlas of the state of Alabama. On the bottom of the map of the state of Alabama, this being Florida, this being one side of Alabama, this be the other, almost in the middle, right here, right along the Florida border, that's what we're looking for. And there's this big section right here called Conecuh National Forest. It will be on the right hand side of that is where we're going, which is Geneva State Forest. Now the town that you are looking for, okay? What I want you to do is here is the GPS location I want you to look for, all right? I want you to put in for Op Alabama. That is O P P Alabama and the Zip code is three six four six seven. Okay. I want you to put that in. Once you get to uh, Op Alabama, I want you to put in the actual lake name to take you to it. Now, listen to me carefully, okay? In this proximity, you have the town of Geneva. You have the county, it is Geneva County. And then there is a Geneva County Lake. None of those is where this is going to be held. So let me say that again. Geneva, the city, it's not there. Geneva, the county, it's part of, but it is not the location. Geneva County Lake is 20 miles away and not the location. Okay? The location I want you to put in once you get to Op, Alabama. And I know, Op is an odd name. We figure it was a shortening of something like Oppenheimer. Or something. It's supposed to have been a, a prominent lawyer figure in the foundation of the town, and I'm betting that it was a name like Oppenheimer or Opportunity that got shortened down to Op. Okay? But back to you. Once you have reached Op, Alabama, you're going to put in the GPS request for. Geneva State Forest Lake. Geneva State Forest Lake. Now, I personally tested this myself just two days ago. Once you're in, anywhere in Op, Alabama, you will put in the command to take me to Geneva State Forest Lake. And it will accept it and it will take you there because we've had enough people come to my gatherings that have all GPSed it that now GPS knows exactly where you're asking for. In the past it didn't, it took you somewhere else. So now we've got it where it does dial you in. Okay? Here is the rough route that you will follow. Okay? You will be coming off of U.S. Highway 331 slash 
US Highway 84. Those two are together, and you're going to turn off onto Alabama State Highway 52. State Highway 52. You're going to run down about seven miles, 6.5, something like seven miles. And you're going to come to a small town called Kinston, K-I-N-S-T-O-N, Alabama. Kinston, Alabama. If you put your GPS for that instead of op, it may not bring you to Kinston. There may be another Kinston, Alabama. I live right next to a town called Enterprise, Alabama, which is a pretty large city of 40,000, 45,000, something like that. And yet I understand there's another enterprise on the opposite end of the state, way up in the mountains, that has a population of 1,800. So names matter. Op will get you to the right location. And then you'll be getting on to Highway 52. GPS will take you. When you get to Kenton, Alabama, you're going to come to a place you're going to turn onto a small two-lane county road. This, you'll know you're at the right place because where you're turning off of Highway 52, there's a caution light. You know, those lights out on the, that is not a stoplight, but it's a yellow blinking caution light. And you're going to turn into between, you know, houses on either side and go through a, a small little community, you know. And then that's going to become a farm road. You're going to go roughly four miles. Roughly four miles. I think it's 4.3, 4.4. Something like that, but four something miles. Okay, GPS knows exactly where to do. Then it's going to tell you to turn. Now, this could visually confuse you, so I ran the route and I videotaped it. So let me tell you first, and then I'm going to show you in video. You're coming down that small county road. Watch your speed because there's a lot of hairpin turns on that road, and it's flat, there is no banking to it. So it's just a small farming road, so watch your speed in there, okay? When it comes up, it's going to tell you in a quarter mile or whatever, you're going to turn left. What you're going to see is this small community church out in the middle of nowhere. And it's going to look like you're turning into the parking lot of that church, okay? You are, but what it is is you turn in the parking lot, and the back of the parking lot becomes the dirt road. So you're going to go through that parking lot. Now let me show you the video of me coming up to this turn and making the turn. Here is that video. Okay guys, here's the church. This is Bethel Church. This is where you're going to turn left. Now if you notice, right there there's a sign that says Geneva State Forest Wildlife Management Area. You're going to turn and it'll see the Continue on Bethel sign. Road for two miles. You're now two miles from the lake. This is the church. And this is where it makes the transition to the dirt road. Just follow the road and I'll show you the next turn in just a moment. Okay, you see how it goes and it proceeds on. You're gonna keep going down that road for maybe three quarters of a mile or something like that. And then the road is going to Y. Your GPS is gonna tell you to turn left. Now, you're in the Y, you're going to see the back of a stop sign. Plainly obvious, like right in the middle of the road, can't miss it. Here is the footage of making that turn, and you will know you have made the correct turn because there's a sign on the right-hand side announcing that you've entered the state forest. So, here is that turn. Okay, guys, you're going coming down this road, make no turns on this dirt road till you get to this point. Now the GPS is going to tell you to take the left. That is correct. But you see there's a stop sign right here. And then when you turn onto this, you're gonna see this Continue on brown area sign. Road for three quarters of a mile. You're three quarters of a mile away from the lake right here. You got this sign right here that says Geneva State Forest Management Area. You're on the correct road. You're only three quarters of a mile away from the lake. And what it is, you're going to follow this along and it's going to drop down a hill. At the bottom of that hill, there's going to be a small sign on the right hand side. You see, this is a very well maintained dirt road. Very flat, all vehicles can come in and out this way. 
it'll be easy. Just watch your speed coming in. You know, don't play Dukes of Hazard, and you'll be fine. down to the bottom of this hill and this is the visual that you're looking for okay just popped around the corner there is a sign on the right side of the road right here Take the next left on the Forest Lake Road. that says Geneva State Forest Lake and that white mailbox right there you turn and go up this dirt road right here. You're almost there. Now you're simply going to follow this to the Continue uh, on around. Forest Lake Road for half a mile. You're a half a mile away. You follow this road up. It's going to go around an agricultural field and turn down and you'll see the lake. And okay, once you make that turn, you're in the home stretch. You'll make that turn here. It will go up and it will curve around this large agricultural field right here. At the end of that road, it's going to, you're going to see it turns, goes south, and it kind of drifts into another private thing and another road like this. Right here, you're going to see a thing announcing the, that you're at the lake, and this is the honor box where you pull out to get your permit, okay? You can clearly see when you're here, this road turns and here's the lake. So you're up on the hill looking at the lake. You're there. If you miss, you go into this guy's property, it's a dead end. You're gonna turn around. But, so you follow that road around the agricultural property and you're gonna turn straight down. It's one of those things that when you see it, you can't miss it. You know what I mean? It'll make perfect sense. Now, let's talk about that honor box. Camping at the State Forest Lake is a $2 per day per person. If you're over the age of 60, it's $1 per day. Okay? That drop box up there has these little envelopes, and when you, the uh, students coming to the class, I will give you one that you put the money in there and I will go we'll go drop it off in the box up there. You will then keep the permit on you. The game warden does show up fairly regularly down here at the lake and ask to see your permit. If you don't have your permit, you gotta pay a fine. I'm trying to avoid everybody paying a fine. See? So keep that little piece of paper. So if you're going to be at the Silver Wolves class and you're over 60, it's going to be a grand total of $3, which is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's it. If you're going to stay for the rest of camping, you can add in. You can make one payment, and on the little thing, and it'll be obvious, you just circle. We'll handle that when you get to the lake, okay? I'll go ahead and get some of those envelopes and have them. So when you come in, check in with me, we'll do it, and we'll go put it in to make sure everybody is legit. That's the only thing. That's not me doing it. That's the state. That's their fee for the lake. Okay? To camp out or whatever. So, let me recap. Okay. Your first GPS is to Ock, Alabama. Once you're in Ock, you will then put in Geneva State Forest Lake. This is going to take you to, uh, you're going to turn on to Alabama Highway 52. You're going to run approximately somewhere between six to seven miles, and you're going to reach a caution light. At that caution light, you're going to 
turn to the right and go down that little county road. You're going to go down that one approximately four to five miles where you will reach the church. That's where you're going to turn in the parking lot. You're going to follow that dirt road to the Y. You're going to take the left hand at the Y and you're going to proceed until you see the small sign, the sign, the blue sign on the right of the road that will say Geneva State Forest Lake. Follow that and you are at the lake. It's very simple. The GPS will guide you all the way to it. Okay? Put in op. Get to the op region. Put in Geneva State Forest Lake. Recognizing that there is a Geneva City, a Geneva County, and a Geneva County Lake. That those are not your location that you're going to. You're going to Geneva State Forest Lake. I can't stress that strongly enough. Because if you just, something pops up and says Geneva Lake, and you go, yeah, that's it. It's going to put you 22 miles away. If you get turned around for any reason, if you don't end up at this lake, punch back in op and let it guide you back and try it again. You should come straight into it. From the time that you leave up till you get to the lake is going to be about 20, 25 minutes, something like that. It's a short hop. It really is. Um, running down Highway 52, the speed is 55 miles an hour, and you're going to come to that small town of Kinston. K-I-N-S-T-O-N. K-I-N-S-T-O-N. Kinston, Alabama. That's where you'll turn onto that small little candy road at that caution light. Why don't I give you a number? Because I didn't see a number on it. GPS knew exactly where to turn. That road, you go 4.3, 4.8, something like that miles. And you're going to come to the church, and it's a big church. As you see in the video I just showed, you're going to turn in, keep going straight. You're going to run down that dirt road until you see that Y with the back of the stop sign. You're going to take the left hand of the Y. You're going to make no stops. Keep going straight. You'll be coming down that hill, and there's that little bitty sign on the right that says Geneva State Forest Lake. You're going to turn left and turn just like the video shows going up the hill. Follow that around. When you get to the top up there at the end of it where, you know, the road is kind of winding off to the left, look to your left, and you're looking at the lake. In fact, that road goes straight down and becomes the boat landing. So from where you're at on the top of that hill to the lake is a couple hundred yards. But you clearly see the lake when you get up there to the top. You start looking to your left, you'll see it. And just come down to us. I will be, my camp and the Silver Wolves camp will be straight down the hill. To, when you're coming down that center road, to your left. Can't miss it. We'll have pop-up awnings up and it'll be all of us. Just look for me. I should be there. And then you'll figure out where you want to camp. You can camp anywhere down there. There's plenty of room. Now, let me reiterate. There is no water at the lake. So bring your own water. Okay, unless you have a filter system. I bring a grail. You can filter water out of the lake. There is a porta potty there that the state provides, so we do have a porta potty. There is no shower facilities or anything like that. This is primitive camping, so take care of yourself. Be ready. There is garbage can, so we can put garbage. We have concrete picnic tables down there. We have fire areas, and you can camp anywhere down there that you can find a place to park. Go right ahead. You can, car you can camp right next to your truck if you need to. That's just fine. Uh, for those that are coming to the gathering, it's the same exact direction, same everything. The gathering will begin on Monday the, excuse me, Monday the 8th. 
prior to that, I'm going to be focused on the students. So some of you early dogs want to show up, understand you can't come and hang out with the Silver Wolves bunch because these are paid uh, students. They paid to have the instructors. Me and my instructors will be focusing on them. From the 8th on, it's just camp out. But till that, you're welcome to come and camp, but just don't camp up here with us and don't think you're going to come sit with the campfire that night because that is part of the Silver Wolves. Because campfire discussion on Friday night is the beginning of our classes. And we will be talking about specific topics and stuff like that to deal with the Silver Wolves. I hope to see everybody there. This is going to be pretty eventful and should be a lot of fun. If you've got any questions, please throw them down in their comments and I'll do my best to answer. Till next time, guys, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.